I'm Darlene Koskinen from Move Kits, and I would like to show you a few great ideas that can be done at the home, and also a few teaching tips about how to get children motivated at home, which I know is, is quite challenging. Okay, so first of all, I will, I will start with that. Um, you have to make it fun and exciting. So if you find an activity on YouTube or, or Googling or wherever you find your activities, let your child watch the activity say, hey, come on, let's try this. This looks like fun. And of course, if you do it together with the child, then they're more inclined to do it as well. If you just expect your child to, to watch and do without any enthusiasm or encouragement, it's not going to happen. So use your voice, uh, inspire them to move and say, oh, I wonder if you can do this. Do you think you can do it? Challenge them a little, make it fun. Oh, do you think you can hold that balance for five seconds? So you can just encourage, look, oh, who can hold this balance? Can you hold it for five? Let's count together. So include them in on the activity all the time. Have them count themselves, okay? Have them say what they're doing. Balancing, balancing, balancing. I am balancing, for example. Or if you're hopping on one leg, they could count. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. And now they try on the other leg. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. So make it fun. Use your voice, okay? And if you have some equipment at home, you can do a lot more. So if you have a ball, which I'm sure all of you have a ball, balls are great because there's so much to do. So you can just do simple things like drop and catch, drop and catch. If that's easy, then they can try and bounce it like that. Or throw up, bounce, catch. Woohoo! All right. So that's with the ball. And I use bean bags a lot, but if you don't have bean bags, you can use a pair of socks. Okay, so one activity could be to under, over, under, over, or around the leg like this. Or they could even throw and catch, throw and catch. And if they need to balance something on their head, I've got a packet of cashew nuts. So they could walk, give them a challenge. They have to walk, turn around, balance on one leg, touch the ground, and there you go. And hello nuts. So that's a few ideas there. And if you have a rope, Okay, so children like to skip. Okay, so you can have them step over, elbows up, throw it over. Step over, elbows up, throw it over. Or you could put the rope in a line. And a great alternative is a scarf. So you can use a scarf in the same way. You could do jumping like that, jumping like that, or even cross jumping like that with a rope or a scarf. And lastly, I have a hoop. So please make sure it's quite a small hoop for your children. If you don't have a hoop, once again, the scarf comes in quite handy. And you can make a nice circle like this. And there's all kinds of activity, jumping in and forward, back and back, running around it, and hop in and jump back. So there's a lot of different activities using just simple things like this. I hope this helps you. Bye-bye.